Hello, this is the Clay Golem. We're back in Foundry VTT. This is Curse of Strahd. A bit of an update video for you. And we've made some major progress. Well, maybe, uh, sort of. <laughs> we've completed Act 1. That's what's, uh, that's important. Um, so, remember, just as a reminder for anybody, I know not everybody watches all of these videos. People jump about. Absolutely fine, of course. Um, so, we are building Curse of Strahd, the module, but we are mostly following the Strahd Strahd Reloaded version of this. So the first few scenes, the um, Into the Mists, which is very much part of the original module, and Into the Death House, again following the path of the original module mostly. Um, but then once we're into the village of Barovia, we switch almost completely over to the Strahd Reloaded um, timeline, storyline, um, and order of things, uh, because it it's better it's just better it's so it's got a lot more uh, it's got a lot more to it a lot more meat on the bones if you like um so if you want to run this you will need a copy of the original strad module which you can get from D, D beyond of course and you'll also need to reference that um uh, strad reloaded version which you can just google easy peasy um and that's free to use of course um with regard to all my battle maps, so a lot of my scenes we're using um, a lot of these kind of maps here, as a lot of you already know. Um, these ones uh, that are by Anobar, Aeon Bar, damn it, I'll get it right one day. Um, Anno Anobar's been in touch uh, and has very happily given permission. Uh, they're free maps that anybody can use, but when you're redistributing something, it's better to check. Um, so Aeon Bar has agreed it's not a problem if I use their maps and package them into a module to be able to send to you guys. Alright, so um, that's really nice because everything we're using is pretty much Aeon Bar's maps or images I've generated myself that I am allowed to distribute anyway. So good, brilliant stuff, as long as it's not for commercial purposes and I have no intention of charging for any of this kind of work. I'm building it for my group, I'm just sharing the love. So where are we? Let's go back to the landing page because very handily I can activate the map and bring the map up for you. <laughs> so what we've built so far is the eastern gate, so the outside of uh, Barovia itself, uh, the eastern gate, um, the Svalich Road, the Death House, the village of Barovia, so we're over here, uh, the crossing of the bridge, the crossroads, the visit to the Sir Paul, back to the crossroads and following this path all the way around here to the Sir Falls themselves with the bridge, up to the West Gate, past the Old Mill, and then all the way round to just before the Valaki or Valaki uh, village. And that is all Act 1. So there's quite a lot in it, isn't there? So we've got our Into the Mists, my introduction. We've got the Death House you will have seen, of course. We've got Barovia, the village, and Into the Valley, where we've got our various locations on that journey, um, attempting to get to the Sir Paul, and then backtracking a bit to head off to the town. So you will have seen a whole bunch of these, but we have added some new ones on, and I'm aware there's an error. So they're going to backtrack from the Sir Paul back to the crossroads, where they'll encounter the horsemen. Uh, which is a skeletal horseman it's more about atmosphere it's more about the, the lost rider rather than um, any kind of combat situation uh, they come past the ruined tower so this is another levels map um, where they can investigate this and there is a there's some clues and again some atmospheric stuff that goes on here uh, they get to the surf falls where they need to cross over at the um, at this particular point um, but they do encounter the old knight the revenant guarding the bridge that they gain it's another role play opportunity and points them in a direction to further the story later on uh, before they reach the west gate so very similar to the gate where they came into Barovia but this is the one on the way out they then go to a scene that is currently broken <laughs> <laughs> Sharp. Um, I did spot this just before doing the video. I'm going to fix it. Uh, I've done something horrendous with my levels. Um, so, uh, yeah, something's gone wrong here. Obviously, I will fix that very shortly. In fact, immediately after this video. But see, see the windmill, but it's not 
my tiles are in the wrong place. I'm going to fix that soon. Um, yeah, all a bit strange. Um, after they leave the windmill, they continue towards the village shortly before getting there. There is the, excuse me a second, just want to stop that windy background. Um, so it's not too loud on the video. Um, yeah, there's a encounter with some wolves and a werewolf here before they enter the town. Now, yeah, at the moment they're hidden, so they, they're kind of hiding away in the mists there. But we have got these wolves, etc., that there will be a good proper little fight going on. But it's the first time they actually fight a were creature, so it'll be interesting to see how they get on with that. Uh, and as always, of course, you can scale all these to sort to, to sort to suit. Um, and then the next is Act Two, which they actually get to the uh, the town of Valaki and or Valaki, and then they go into there. So, with that in mind, the reason for this video, apart from to show you that we've kind of finished Act One ish, apart from fixing that one problem area, is this is ready to go. Ao Bar's given us permission. Um, we know how to package stuff. This is in a position where I can package this up for Act One. Uh, and send it to anybody who would like a copy. But what I want to do is I'm going to put my email address on screen right now. Um, if anybody would like a copy of it as is with that one fix done, um, so that you can install it on your own machine, you can have a play with it. Now remember, I'm in version 12, so if you try it on version 11, I suspect you will get problems. It might only be to do with the weather indoors because of regions, Tiles should work fine, but we might find there's problems. But if you're on version 12 specifically, and you would like to test this out, and you're willing to give me a bit of feedback, let me know how it went. Does it work? Are, have When going through, were there any missing images, things not lined up? All of those kind of things that I can debug, that would be brilliant, and I would really appreciate any feedback that helps me improve this. Now, to stop, it's unlikely, but to stop 100 people emailing saying, yeah, 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 give me a copy, uh, it's going to be overwhelming to deal with that feedback. So if you would like to do that, that would be brilliant. Send me an email and just say, yeah, I'd like a copy. The first five people to do that, I will send you this initial, uh, let's call it an alpha release, shall we, for you guys to have a look at, have a play with, just look at the scenes, um, you know, get somebody to log in as a player and just go through the scenes, make sure everything works okay, give me any feedback, and then I can fix any of those little problems. What it means once we've been through that process it will be in a better position for me to be able to say, actually, look, it is only Act 1 at the moment, but if anybody wants it, you can just have it now um, while I continue to build Act 2 and Act 3. Um, and we want to end up with a final product that actually you guys can... I, I know everybody runs games differently, and you might not like the way I've set it up. That's fine. <laughs> you can do it your own way. But you might want to, I don't know, you might choose to use mine and chop out half the scenes you don't like or change them or, or whatever. But if it's going to save you time, what the hell? Have it, man. Just go with it. Um, so I'd like to get in a position where I can start sending that out while I build those other scenes. So yeah, first five people email me um, at, on the screen and say, yes, I'd like a copy. I will send you a link to it. You'll be able to download it. Um, you'll be able to test it. Feedback to me. I can fix any little problems. Um, for those people who are not interested in that, which is fine, of course, um, I'm also happy to accept comments in the in the video here of things that you like, things that you don't like, things you spotted and gone, oh, why have you done that? Or that looks too dark, the, you know, whatever it might be. Um, yeah, give us some feedback because I want this to be as useful as possible to as many people as possible because Strahd is an amazing adventure series um, and not everybody's got the time to put in to set up these things in the level of I know mine's not over detail but in the level of detail that I've done it um, so you know make it available to people would be great so your help your contributions would be very much welcome and of course like the video um, leave any comments you like if you're not subscribed please do so if you hit the little bell icon you'll be reminded of every time I upload a video if that's far too spammy for you just don't click the bell icon but you can support the channel by subscribing anyway and everyone's a winner that would be brilliant we're on the journey to a thousand subscribers we're almost at 800 um, which is amazing considering how long we've been doing this 
Um, I don't think we're we're not we're nowhere near six months yet. I think we're maybe five months in, maybe six months, five months. I think we are, um, which is absolutely brilliant. You guys have been wonderful and it's very much appreciated. Uh, we got to the end of the video, and again, I'm having to tell myself to shut up. So, <laughs> thank you very much for your support so far. Send me an email if you want a copy of it. Otherwise, leave a comment in the video. Take care, guys. I will see you in the next one.